Hey everyone, let's move on to the next part of three most important seven markers. Let's begin. Firstly, we have a matrix A where we have to find out A transpose whole inverse. Firstly, we have A transpose as 1 minus 2, 3, 0 minus 1, 4, minus 2, 2, 1. It's basically rows into columns or columns into rows. Fine, this is A transpose. Now let's find out the inverse of A transpose. How do we find out inverse? What is the formula for inverse? It is adjoint of A by determinant of A. That means firstly we need to find out the adjoint, then determinant and then find out its inverse. Now for finding out adjoint we need two most important things minors cofactors. Let's find out then. Firstly, let me check out if determinant of this matrix is not equal to 0. Why am I checking that? That is because if determinant of A transpose will be equal to 0, then there exists no, you know, there exists no inverse of A transpose. If it is not equal to 0, then inverse of A transpose actually exists. Now let me first find out the determinant of this matrix. Cut down the rows and columns 1 belongs to here. You'll have minus 1, minus 8, that is minus 9. Now this minus 9 again should be multiplied with 1. That gives you minus 9 as our first number. Then we have 0 as our second term. Right. Anything multiplied with a 0 at the end of the day will give you 0. So here let me put on 0. Right. Next cut down the rows and columns. Minus 2 belongs to over here. That is going to be minus 8. Minus of minus 3, that is minus 8 plus 3, that is minus 5. And now this minus 5 should be multiplied with minus 2, that will give you 10 as our third number. Now come on, let's apply the strategy. What is the plus minus plus strategy? Now these are the three numbers. Let's apply the plus minus plus strategy. Now here, this is going to be minus 9 plus 10, that is 1. Isn't it? Now determinant of matrix A transpose is not equal to 0. Hence inverse of A transpose exists. Alright, now let's find out the A transpose. How do we find out minors? Now if I choose first row at the first time, then I'll cut the Rows and columns 1 belongs to over here. Multiply minus 1 into 1 minus 4 into 2. That will be minus 1 minus 8 that is minus 9. So what is your minor of 1 1? It is minus 9. In that way you find out the minors. Now cut down the rows and columns 0 belongs to here. You have minus 2 minus 6. That will be minus 8. Then then if I need to find out for minus 2, then it will be minus 8 minus of minus 3. That is minus 8 plus 3 minus 5. So here you have minus 5. Now let me do it for the row 2. That is going to be 0 minus of minus 8. That is 0 plus 8. Here it will be 8. Fine. Then let's move on to the second element of row 2. That is minus 1. Let's cut down the rows and columns that belongs to here. You have 1 minus of minus 6. That is 1 plus 6, 7. Fine. Moving to the third element. Cut down the rows and columns that belongs to 4 minus 0. That is 4. Now moving on to the third row. Cut down the rows and columns 3 belongs to here. You have 0 minus 2. Isn't it? That is minus 2. All right. Now the second element is 4. Cut down the rows and columns. 4 belongs to here. You have 2 minus of 4. Isn't it? 2 minus 4. That is minus 2. Now lastly we have minus 1 minus 0. That is minus 1. So here you'll have minus 1. Now let's find out what are the cofactors of this matrix. 
right now this right over here is very simple 1 plus 1 is 2 so the number will remain same that is minus 9 then 1 plus 2 is 3 which is odd so sign will change to 8 here again we have minus 5 let me quickly write down everything well this is gonna be minus 8 this is gonna be 7 itself and here it's gonna be minus 4 then on the other hand we have minus 2 2 and minus 1 now let's create the cofactor matrix over here what is that minus 9 8 5 minus 8 7 minus 4 minus 2 2 minus 1 well this right over here is minus 5 not 5 have a look at this yes so now this is the cofactor matrix now how do we find the adjoint the transpose of this matrix will give you the adjoint right so let's find out the adjoint it's very simple just transpose it now minus 9 8 minus 5 minus 8 7 minus 4 minus 2 2 and minus 1 this is our adjoint of a now that we found out the adjoint of a transpose let's find out the what inverse inverse is equal to a joint of a transpose by determinant of a transpose now what is that gonna be equal to everyone that is basically this by one and you know minus 9 by 1 is minus 9 minus 8 by 1 is minus 8 minus 2 by 1 is minus 2 what does it even make a difference by dividing it by 1 so this is both the adjoint of a transpose and inverse of a transpose so this is gonna be our final answer moving forward yet again we are having a 3 by 3 matrix we're gonna show that a joint of a is equal to 3a1 now what does this a1 and what does this a minus 1 represent well they are exponents right they are taking the place of exponents this one right over here means that you got to take the transpose of a remember if you have just one it is transpose on the other hand if you have minus one it means you got to take out its inverse fine well now let's try to prove this out all right firstly we got to show that a joint of a is equal to three times a transpose and secondly you also wanted to find out the inverse of matrix a now a joint of a you find uh, a joint by what minus cofactors that's it and then three times a transpose is something we already know now Firstly, let's find out the minus. For finding out minus, cut down the rows and columns, minus 1 belongs to over here. Now, it will be 1 minus 4, that is minus 3. Then, we have minus 2 as our second element, cut down the rows and columns, it belongs to, you have 2 minus of minus 4, that is 2 plus 4, that is 6. Here, you got to have 6. Then, moving on to the third element, Cut down the rows and columns, minus 2 belongs to here. You have minus 4, minus 2, that is minus 6. Next, let's have row 2. Cut down the rows and columns, 2 belongs to here. It is minus 2, minus of 4, right? So then it's going to be minus 2, minus 4, that is minus 6. So let me write down minus 6 over here. Then let's take this second element right over here, that is minus 1. Cut down the rows and columns, it belongs to here. It is minus 1 minus of minus 4. That is minus 1 plus 4, that is 3. Then we have minus 2 right over here. This is going to be 2 minus of minus 4. That is going to be 2 plus 4, that is 6. Let's write down 6 over here. Now in this way, we completed the row 2. Now let's move on to row 3, right? Then here it's min uh, 4 minus of minus 2, that is 6, right? Then move on to the second element right over here. Then it's going to be 2 minus of minus 4, 
this again is 6 right lastly we have minus 1 minus of minus 4 that is minus 1 plus 4 3 all right these were the minors now let's try to find out the cofactors here we have the cofactors table now 1 plus 1 is 2 it's going to be the same, isn't it? So, minus 3. Oh, uh -huh. this is minus 3. Then, here we'll have minus 6. And here is going to be minus 6 itself. And here, it's going to be 6, 3, minus 6. And this is going to be 6, minus 6, 3. All right. This is our, our cofactors. Now, let's build on the cofactor matrix. Fine. This is minus 3, minus 6, minus 6. 6, 3, minus 6. 6, minus 6, 3. Now, the transpose of this matrix will give us what? It's a joint, isn't it? Now, let's take out its transpose. That is minus 3, minus 6, minus 6, 6, 3, minus 6, 6, minus 6, 3. This is the adjoint of A. That is our LHS part of a question. Let me mark this as LHS. Now, let's find out the RHS. That is 3 times A transpose. Let's quickly find that out. Now, what is A transpose over here? Let me build on the A transpose table. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 2, 2, 1, minus 2, 2, minus 2, 1. This is our A transpose. Now, I should multiply 3 with this transpose. All right. Now, what is that going to be equal to? The every element in this matrix must be multiplied with 3. Let us quickly do that. 3 times minus 1, minus 3. We have 6, 6. And then it's going to be minus 6, 3, minus 6, minus 6, minus 6, 3. Let's bring on our religious. This was our religious and this is our RHS. Have a look at them. Aren't they same? Yes. So hence, proved. Now that is not the end of the question. You also got to find out A inverse. Let's quickly do that. Now, let's find out the determinant of A. Why? Because A inverse only exists if determinant is not equal to 0. And for finding out inverse, you definitely need determinant, isn't it? Inverse is equal to adjoint by determinant. This right here that you find on the screen is the adjoint of A. Let's first find out the determinant in order to find out its inverse. Now, let me not be very complex with this theta right over here. It eats up all of your time. Now, let me take out minus 3. No, no. Let me take out 3 common. Right. In the brackets, I'll have minus 1, 2, 2, minus 2, 1, minus 2. Isn't it? And then you have minus 2, minus 2, and 1. Just to simplify my calculation, nothing much. Now, let me find out the determinant of this matrix. Huh? Then, what is it going to be? Let me cut down the first row and the first column. That 1 belongs to, right? Now, here I have 1 minus 4. Isn't it? That is minus 3. Now, remember that minus 3 should be multiplied with minus 1. That is the number right over here. That is 3. Let me note down 3 over here. All right, now let's cut down this stuff over here and let's take the next element that is there. Well, the number we had was 3, right? Now cut down the rows and columns. 2 belongs to over here. This is minus 2, minus 4. Now what is this, everyone? This is minus 6. Now this minus 6 should be multiplied with 2 that is over here. That will become minus 12. Now, let's cut in the rows and columns. 2 belongs to here. It is 4 minus of minus 2. That is 4 plus 2, 6. Now, 6 should be multiplied with 2. We have 12. Now, let's write down 12 over here. What is the strategy, everyone? That is plus minus plus strategy that we apply over here. Right. Now, that is going to be 
minus of minus 12 plus 12. This is 3 plus 12 plus 12. This is 24 plus 3, 27. Now, determinant is not equal to 0, so inverse of matrix exists. And this right over here that you find is the adjoint of A, which should be divided by 27. Isn't it? Now, firstly, what I'm going to do is look at this. Simply, I'm going to cancel out this with 9. Isn't it? Now, what is my matrix over here? It is 1 by 9 into minus 1, 2, 2, minus 2, uh, 1, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, 1. This is my matrix right over here. This 1 by 9 can certainly be multiplied with every element and you can find out the simplified form of this matrix. But here I am leaving down here at this particular step. Fine, that was the end of our question. Then we have the last question where we are given with one matrix. But here it is a quite different question. Uh, uh, you know, it's not the usual type of question. 3A is equal to one matrix. Here A is not equal to one matrix. Here 3A is equal to one matrix. Let me tell you how to do this. Then you got to show that A inverse is equal to A transpose. Firstly, understand that this is 3A and not A. All right. Read the question properly. Now A over here is going to become 1 by 3 into the matrix that is there. 1 by 3 into 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, 2, right, 2, 1, minus 2, minus 2, 2, minus 1. So, A is this one right now. Now, Rivan, can I multiply 1 by 3 with every element? I can do that, right? I'm just making my sum way too simpler, all right? Now that is going to be over here. Let's build on a big matrix. That is 1 by 3. 1 by 3 into 1 is 1 by 3. Now 1 by 3 into 2 is 2 by 3. 1 by 3 into 2, 2 by 3. Then again 2 by 3. Then 1 by 3. Then minus 2 by 3. Then we have minus 2 by 3, 2 by 3 and minus 1 by 3. This is our matrix right over here. All right. Now, let's find out the transpose of this matrix first of all. That is way too simple, right? Now, let me find out this transpose. What is this going to be equal to everybody? All right. This is 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 3, uh, 2 by 3, right? And here, 2 by 3, 1 by 3, minus 2 by 3. And then minus 2 by 3, 2 by 3. And minus 1 by 3. So this is our trans, uh, transpose of A. And let me mark this as RHS. Now let's find out the LHS. That will be adjoint of A by determinant of A. Fine. Now we are supposed to find out the inverse of A. But before I even do that, let me first find out the determinant of A. That is when I get to know if inverse of A generally exists or not. Right. Now. Uh, yes, so let me choose the first row here. I'm going to cut down the rows and columns. Uh, uh, 1 by 3 is going to belong to here. Let me multiply them. Here it is 1 by 9 minus of minus 4 by 9. What is this everyone? This is 3 by 9, right? Now this 3 by 9 should be multiplied with 1 by 3. Am I right? Right? So this is 1 by 3 right over here. This is going to be 1 by 9. Now, if I need to talk about the second element, let me cut down this first of all. All right, here we have 2 by 3, where I'm going to cut these two. Then, here I'm going to multiply the diagonal elements first. That is going to be minus 2 by 9, minus of 4 by 9. This is minus 6 by 9. That is equal to what? Wait, before I even do that, let me multiply this in order to make my calculation much simpler. This should be multiplied by 2 by 3. Now, this right over here is going to become 3 times 1, 3 times 2. And that's it, right? We cannot simplify much. This is minus 4 by 9. Let me put these two in bubbles. All right. 
Now, let me take on the third element. Now, let's multiply the diagonal elements first. That is going to be 4 by 9 minus of minus 2 by 9. This is 6 by 9. Now, the 6 by 9 should be multiplied with 2 by 3. Now, this is 3 times 2. Now, this is 4 by 9. Let me put on this 4 by 9 in bubble. Now, let's put these bubbles in a sequence. Here they are. Now, what is the strategy that we use? Plus, minus, plus. Isn't it? This is something we are doing it from the very first video. This is 1 by 9 plus 4 by 9 plus 4 by 9. Now, this is 9 by 9. Am I right? That is equal to 1. Oh my God. This is the determinant. Now, the inverse of this matrix actually exists. Now, let me note down this determinant somewhere that is 1. Come on. It is easy to understand. Now, let us find out its edge joint. Minus cofactors. Two most important things. Let's find them out. M11, M12 and M12, M13 are already known to us previously. So, I'm not wasting much time on that. Now, M21. Find cut on the rows and columns that belongs to here. It will become minus 2 by 9. Minus 4 by 9. This is minus 6 by 9, isn't it? That is minus 2 by 3. Let me write down minus 2 by 3 over here. Next, we have minus 1 by 9. Minus, uh, minus of minus 4 by 9. This is minus 1 plus 4 by 9. This is 3 by 9. That is 1 by 3. Lastly, we have 2 by 9 minus of minus 4 by 9. This is 2 by 9 plus 4 by 9. That is 6 by 9. Here you'll have 2 by 3. Then here we have minus 4 by 9 minus 2 by 9. This is minus 6 by 9. That is again minus 2 by 3. Let me write down minus 2 by 3 over here. Now it's going to be minus 2 by 9 minus 4 by 9. This is minus 6 by 9 again. This is minus 2 by 3. Isn't it? Minus 2 by 3. Now here it's going to be 1 by 9 minus 4 by 9. That is, uh, oh, this is 9. All right, that is minus 3 by 9 that is minus 1 by 3 this is minus 1 by 3 now those were the minors if i need to find out the cofactors let me quickly erase all of this m m m m oh my goodness all right let's make our task easy 1 plus 1 is 2 it will remain the same 1 by 3 here it will change to plus 2 by 3 here it will remain the same this is gonna be plus 2 by 3 here it will remain the same. Here it's going to be minus 2 by 3. Fine. Then this one over here will remain the same. And this will become plus 2 by 3 everybody. Not minus 2 by 3. Because these are the cofactors. Not minors. Now this will remain the same as it is. Now let's build on the cofactor matrix right over here. That is going to be 1 by 3. 2 by 3. 2 by 3. Now 2 by 3. 1 by 3. Minus 2 by 3. Then minus 2 by 3, 2 by 3, minus 1 by 3. These are our cofactors. Now, if we find out the transpose of this, you will get the adjoint of A. All right. Now, what will it be? 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 2 by 3. 2 by 3, 1 by 3, minus 2 by 3. Minus 2 by 3, 2 by 3, minus 1 by 3. This is our inverse of matrix A. Fine. Now finding out the inverse adjoint by determinant 1. Now it is again the same thing, right? Even if you divide or not divide, it will be the same. Now, what is this right over here? It is the inverse of A, right? Now this is the inverse of this matrix and remember that this is our LHS. Now, if you have a look at the RHS, let me bring on the RHS. Now, this was the RHS we have discussed previously. Aren't LHS and RHS equal? Yes. So, that is what we got to prove and hence proved. Well, that is the end of today's video. Make sure you hit the like button, share and subscribe. Thank you.